Thank you, Brother Shipman, for your help this morning. And uh, if you uh, enjoy the music uh, and uh, like to uh, listen to the services, you can go to Messiah Baptist Church, Richland Hills, YouTube, and just press the big blue dot, and it'll come up on your phone or your computer. Uh, my, my grandchildren actually put me on television. They got a smart TV. I got a smart TV, but I don't know how to do it. But they actually, some, I've walked in a time or two, and there's Tata on the television. So I don't know how, but they, they just like to think I'm a big wig. So. Oh, wow. What a blessing to have you here today. All right. We got an absolute fabulous message for you today. Um, I have several scriptures uh, that we're going to look at. Uh, <clears throat> over the last eight months, over the last eight months, I don't need a show of hands, but I, I wonder how many of you have had people ask you is this the end of the world? Um, is this the time when Jesus is coming? Are we living in the last days? By way of YouTube and text, I receive questions um, or comments about the, what's going on, and they are wondering, is this the end of the world? Uh, a lot of people, non-believers uh, and uh, believers alike, but especially even non-believers, they've heard about the end of the world. They think about the end of the world. They've asked me numerous times over these seven or eight months, Brother King, or Brother Paul, will you teach on the book of Revelation? Like for some reason, I'm going to discover something for them to hear that they've never heard before. Two times, for you guys who have ministered and preached, two times in my 35 years of preaching, two times I've gone verse by verse through the book of Revelation. And I said the last time I did it, I said, I don't know if I'll ever do it again. Because when I get to the end, I still come up with the same uh, uh, answer. No man knows the day nor the hour Amen. when the Son of Man shall come. Amen. But it is an interesting study. Um, I do not know I do not know if this is the end of the world. Yes. I do not know if we are living in what people are saying are the very last day, identifying, not just the last days. We've been in the last days since the early church, since the, the, the uh, first century. But people are wondering, are we living in what we refer to as the very last days. People are really interested in that, and that's non-believers. Now, I do not know, and neither does any other guru, know if we are living in the very last days. But this I do know. We are living in perilous times. Amen. I've heard this. A worried man sings a worried song. Amen. I am writing to you today. I am writing this message not only to you, our church, who are here today, but I'm writing to those of you who are listening by YouTube. Do not turn me off. 
Listen to the whole story. Amen. I am writing this message to you for all Christians yes. everywhere who may be worried. Yes. A lot of people are worried. I don't know why Christians are worried, but many of them are. Many people are experiencing fear. This pandemic has uh, brought out the, the, the fears that people have. It is my hope that today I can help you. I can give you confidence that comes from the pages of the Word of God. Amen. The Word of God. It's called the Holy Bible. Yes. People call it lots of things, but it is still the Holy Bible. Kind of old and outdated, they think. But holy men of old spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. We believe that God, listen now, we believe that God, by way of the Holy Spirit, used men and women to give us His Word. Yes. We open the pages of the Bible so that God can speak to us. Let me open the Bible. Whoa, there's God's Word. God's going to speak to me now. God's going to speak to you today. God laid a message on my heart because of what we are all going through, including our church. Amen. I want you today, even you preachers, I want you to leave here today encouraged and filled with hope and strength and faith. I want you to be so strong today when you leave here. Brother Russ, I want you to be so strong in your faith that if God told you to attack hell with a squirt gun, the devil would tremble. Amen. <laughs> For you, my friend, are much more powerful than you think you are. Amen. Satan and his COVID-19 sickness does not stand a chance against a Christian who knows and believes and trusts in the Word of God. Amen. For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. You see, listen closely, Satan knows that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And he's attacking you and the church with all he's got. Right. Praise God, we've kept the doors open. Amen. I had one of the young people that grew up in the church. He doesn't live around here anymore. He called me up about three or four months ago, and he said, Mr. King, that's what they called me when he grew up here. He's in his 40s now. But he said, Mr. King, I told my friends, I know a church that won't close. And I was kind of thankful that he had that confidence in the strength of what he grew up with around yeah, here. For no weapon formed against you shall prosper. This message comes from God to help worried Christians. Amen. They are uh, <clears throat> by the way if you are not worried then stop talking about it. Amen. Stop acting like it. I know whom I have believed yes. and am persuaded that he is Amen. able to do more than I could ever ask Amen. or think. You, each of you, Miss Penny, you're a soldier of the cross. You are in a real battle, not a pretend battle. Yes. 
We're fighting, my friends. We're fighting to stay open. We're fighting to keep doing the work God has called us to do. Amen. We are in a battle that in my 50 plus years, I've never seen anything like it. Amen. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the uh, uh, rulers of darkness, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Some of the biggest enemies of the church are religious, liberal, religious people. Amen. The admonition to you, my admonition to you, is to get ready, to be ready, and to stay ready. Be prayed up. Amen. And for heaven's sakes, Velma, stay paid up. <laughs> I had one of our widow ladies call me about four months ago. Four months ago. She hadn't been to church. She called me. She said, Brother King, come and get my tithe. A widow, widow, Brother Lonnie, a widow lady. And she called me. Brother King, come get my tithe. And so I said, will you come get mine? Well, sure. You tell a preacher there's tithe, he's going to go. <laughs> He'll put on his mask or whatever he has to do, but he's going to go. <laughs> and so when I got there, sweet, 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 sweet lady, she said, Brother King, just in case the Lord takes me, I want to make sure I'm paid up. Oh. It takes a widow lady to think that way. She'd been prayed up, and she'd been paid up, and she'd been praying for her preacher, been praying for her church. Praise the Lord. So get ready, be ready, and stay ready. Amen. Listen to me now. I'm talking about having strength. I'm talking about having courage. I'm talking about having hope. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are on your side. Yes. You have power to cast out demons. You have power to pray and anoint with oil the sick and declare that your God can heal and still work miracles whenever needed. Amen. God has not given to you the spirit of fear. Right. Hallelujah. Give me this work done. I'm ready to attack Satan. I'm ready. He has given to you. This is what he has given to you. Is given to you the spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind. And perfect love casts out all fear. Praise the Lord. Whether you are sick or well or rich or poor, you will never walk alone. Praise the Lord. Hold your head up. Push out your chest. You are a child of the most high God. He chose you. Get that. Man, it, that ought to make you just get excited. He chose, you didn't wake up one morning and say, man, I think I'm pretty smart today. I think I'll just start following Jesus. Amen. Jesus had been working on you if you decided that, made that decision. Yes. He chose you. Jesus said, you, Jesus said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Praise the Lord. Now listen to this. Write some of this down. Your weapon is the word of God. Amen. I want you to open your Bibles with me to the book of Philippians, chapter 1. We're going to look at several scriptures. Remember, lift up your head. Stand up straight. Be strong. Put the devil on the run. Amen. Y'all want to do that? You want to put the devil on the run? Yes. We refuse to walk in fear. Amen. Amen. For we are strong. Be filled with confidence. Look what it says. Verse 6, chapter 1, Philippians. Being confident. I want to read that word again. Being confident 
of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has saved you on purpose for a purpose. He will literally move heaven and earth just for you. Praise the Lord. He is calling you. My sheep, hear my voice. Yes. You have so much power that you can literally move a mountain. You are so strong that nothing can defeat you. Praise the Lord. You are a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Praise the Lord. I told Satan, get thee behind, for yes. victory today is mine. Amen. Resist Satan. Resist Satan. He will flee. He will flee. Yes. When you quote the Bible, he will leave. He will leave. I taught those to children back 40 years ago. And they're still true today. Yes. Jesus, when he was in the wilderness, Satan even tempted him. Yet he withstood all temptations. He did it by quoting the word of God. Yes. This is where we get that familiar scripture from the temptation of Jesus when he said Donna man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God Praise that's where we get that just about every Christian knows that man shall not live by bread alone I want you to know that you can do all things through Christ Amen. who strengthens you hey would you say that with me I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Praise God. Greater is he that lives in you than he that lives in the world. Amen. So onward, forward, shout a loud hosanna. Christ is the king. Amen. In fact, someone said he's the king of kings. Amen. Without him, we can do nothing. Amen. But with him, nothing is impossible to those of you who believe. Amen. Listen to this. This is just a sample of how strong you are, how powerful you are. The prayers of a righteous man or a woman avails much. Yes. You are going to put the past in the past. In fact, you're going to forget about your past failures. You are a child of God. You are a child of the King. Praise those God. past failures, those past temptations that you failed, those areas in your life that you've been weak, you are going to, like Solomon said, you're going to let that water go under the bridge. It's gone. You don't go downstream and get that water and bring it back and let it go under again. It's water under the bridge, the past failures of your life. The, uh, all those things, God has put them behind his back. Praise you don't have to think about them. You don't have to worry about them. It is, like Solomon said, water under the bridge. Let it go. Praise Just, I said that to somebody the other day, and to my surprise, they didn't even know what it meant, water under the bridge. <laughs> Of course, they were kind of young. <laughs> I think they were under 60. <laughs> but our past failures, our past failures, and everybody in this room has had past failures. <laughs> but they are like water under the bridge. You're a child of the king. You're stronger than you think you are. You can do more than you think you can. You're more powerful than you ever imagined. 
You're going to be a stronger person now. You're going to be wiser. You're going to make better choices. You're going to be smarter than you used to be. Your future, your future is bright. Praise the Lord. Don't let your past pull you, pull you down. Amen. You're going to start today. You're going to start enjoying the journey that God has planned for you. Amen. We don't know what a day will bring forth, but all I know is that God is in control. Amen. And we are going to start enjoying the journey that God has planned just for you. And I don't care where you are, every day is a new day and we start all over again. Hallelujah, right? Hallelujah. You are not a loser. You are a winner. And I told this to some young lady. I don't even know who she is. She's listening by YouTube, by the way. I've never met her. I hope she listens to this one. I told her this. She's been praying for her friend and worried about her friend and just on and on and on, sending me messages. And I've never met her. And I may never meet her. But I sent her this little tidbit. Winners never quit. Right. And quitters never, never win. win. That's right. You are going to lay aside every weight and every sin that is in the past that has easily defeated you before today. You're going to lay it all aside. Mm -hmm. From this day forward, you will run with patience the race that is set before you. Yes. I tell people all the time, I'm in the last quarter. I used to run, race the mile. I loved running the mile. Jim Ryan was my hero. 1967, he set the high school world record at 358.1. Yeah. Man, I said, I'm going to run as fast as he did. I didn't quite get that fast, but I got pretty fast. But I knew this. He ran faster in the second half than he did the first half. Mm -hmm. And now's the time, my friend, for us to pick up the pace mm -hmm. and run. And run to the end. You will run with patience the race that God has set before you. Your family, your friends, and angels all around are cheering you on. I'm not such a fool as to not tell you the truth. As to say I know it's not going to be so easy. But I am admonishing you. I am admonishing you. Keep your eyes on the prize. Yes. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. The author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Despising the shame. My friends. The way of the cross leads home. home. I wish I knew how to sing that. Brother Lonnie, I had to play To the world, to the world, you may be a nobody, but to Jesus, you are a somebody. You are his child. You are his peculiar treasure, worth more than silver and gold. For he shed his precious blood just for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Oh Lord Jesus, we thank you for these words from your pages of your book. I pray, oh Lord, that your people may take some of these things that we've said and realize, Father, that they can do great things and wonderful things for your honor and your glory. Lord, we ask you now to be with uh, your people, God, the ones who are sick, who are unable to be with us. I pray you touch their bodies and heal them and raise them up, Lord, and bring them back to us. And then, Lord, I pray for these ones who are here today that you put your hand about them. Put a hedge about them, Father. Keep them safe. Let them continue to live for you and serve you 
And uh, Lord, we just thank you for it. Now, Father, if there's someone here today who doesn't know you, and I pray that they'll come to know you before it's eternally too late. If there's someone here today who hasn't been following you, living for you, the way they know that they should, then I pray, oh Lord, that you would just be with them, touch their heart, call them, call them, dear God, to yourself. May they know the sweet voice of the Lord Jesus calling them. Lord, let us, let us be faithful, steadfast, full of courage, full of faith doing this great work that you called us to do. In your name I pray. Amen. Stand with us please and turn to one number, brother. One number. Uh, 341. Number 341. Would you stand with us please? Turn to number 341. Run even harder and more sure. 
Yes, Lord. If we have a week, we have a year, we have 10 years, we don't know. But help us to be faithful. Help this church be one of the churches that's faithful to the end. Yes, Lord. Thank God. you for being with us today. Bless this church. Thank you for their missions outreach. Yes, What they're Lord. doing around the world, even at this moment. Yes. Besides here, but around the world. Amen. Strengthen and bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.